What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So this will be a video talking about Halloween ends here again today. So this is going to be coming to us from someone named Marla who has a Twitter, not a Twitter, Instagram account going by Deaf Songbird. And from what I've gathered, they are a background actress who was working on the movie Cave Dweller, which we know is the working title for Halloween ends. And they seem to have wrapped reshoots. Now, this is a de now deleted post. I'll have to leave a link to link to a video in the description because I'm getting this from Halloween Daily News. So again, shout out to Halloween Daily News. I'll leave a link to the video in the description because Marla herself has now deleted this post because I guess it actually might have some weight to it. So in the post, though, she confirmed basically that she's done with reshoots. I don't know if reshoots as a whole are actually done, but she's done with reshoots. She says that's a wrap again on Cave Dweller and the reshoots got home just before seven this morning after wrapping. Uh, at 5 30 i think you guys are going to like this movie and then she literally put in parentheses halloween ends she said i had a really lovely interaction with mrs jamie lee curtis where i told her it was a one it was wonderful to be to be working with her in spoken english and asl and she reacted with surprise and thanked me i also had brief interactions with mr courtney at our last meal break and mr Patton backstage that were nice it was a pleasure working with mr green again hopefully i will see him soon on other projects so as far as again in that little middle section there there was a name that i know we haven't had confirmed yet that she may have seemingly confirmed herself which is mr Patton, aka will Patton, aka hawkins if i'm not mistaken so in the movies that we've gotten so far we know will Patton has played that that officer sheriff character officer because we know the sheriff in these movies honestly i think he's he's useless it should be hawkins will Patton's character should be sheriff i think many of us agree with that notion but not to go off on too much of a tangent we know he's been in these past two movies and we know that in halloween kills we got a little bit more of a background story with him and his guilt over michael escaping in 78 and what happened with his partner in the myers house all this other stuff so we haven't actually had confirmation on too many other cast members outside of like the core group of characters i'll say we know about michael Lindsay, allison laurie strode all of those actors gonna are gonna be back but we haven't found out if will Patton will be back officially yet so i think her putting this out more or less confirms that uh he could of course be there for other reasons but why at this point come on why would you be there unless you're in the movie um <laughs> uh, again could be there for other reasons but this seems like a gay the first sign first hint closest thing to a confirmation that will Patton will return as his character in halloween ends we'll get to see him reconnect with jamie lee curtis's character of laurie strode get to see maybe if they have a relationship this blossom since we know we kind of saw that tease a little bit in halloween kill so hopefully she has some sign of peace and a place of comfort that she's found in that character i would love to see that for laurie strode's character and seeing those two come together since we know i think they also touched on in halloween kills they had a little teenage fling or something really briefly as as kids that was never really explored all the way so now they get to explore it now in their later adulthood which is fine and again this is from a user who has now deleted that post i'll leave a link to it in the description so you can see halloween halloween daily news video on it because they caught it before she deleted the post uh her instagram handle i went to it i was like there's nothing here and i was like oh she deleted it so there must be some weight to this so and i think i guess we can now say that this confirms that jamie lee curtis was there for the reshoots of course michael myers was there for the reshoots don't know what exactly they were reshooting though of course yet don't know that uh i know people are thinking they were might have been shooting the reshooting the finale could have been it could be something else that needed to include michael and laurie together and will Patton's character so we'll see what happens when the movie releases the other thing i was going to talk about really quick in this video was related to jimmy champagne shout out to jimmy champagne who did a video uh kind of kind of giving more confidence in what we've been hearing about the michael myers mask in halloween ends coming out of CinemaCon, i know i did a few videos talking about some details of what the mask was going to look like essentially it's just a worn version of what was shown in halloween kills for him with some modifications to it and additions from time passing and maybe it'll have some other things like burns and stuff on it as well or something else just making it look tattered and worn out and maybe it has I'm, I'm hoping to see blood stains on it and these blood stains of course should be karen's blood that would be a, a cool thing to see so maybe we see that 
Jimmy Champagne, though, what I'm getting at is he did a video recently kind of talking about that, saying that he's actually been able to see a mask that was used for the film himself. And he trusts the person that showed this to him. And, you know, I'll leave a link to that video in the description as well. But it's nice to have him come out and make a video like that and talk about some of the details that we already know were coming out of CinemaCon early this year from the footage that was being shown and now okay it's like if Jimmy is saying it okay I have more confidence now in this as well that this is indeed what the mask will look like he's stating that he got to see the mask himself he does go into some descriptions of what it looked like from what he saw kind of matching what was being told to us from CinemaCon and in other videos I did where it's basically sounding like again it's not the same mask, I guess, that they actually use for Halloween Kills as much as it is something that is what Michael wore during that movie and obviously very, very worn out and, you know, weathered away. Not that not that it's got like uh, Rob Zombie Halloween 2 style to it or anything like that, but worn and it's got wear and tear, I'll say. I guess that's the better term, wear and tear in this mask. Can't wait to see what the mask looks like when we get to see that teaser. I'm assuming we'll get to see the mask for the very first time in that teaser to kind of get a better understanding of what we're dealing with here when it relates to how Michael's mask will look. Honestly, I think the more worn out that mask is, the more intimidating James Jude Courtney is as the character. I found Michael to be more intimidating in Halloween Kills versus Halloween 2018. And a part of that was because of that mask. I think the more worn it looks, the more intimidating James Drew Courtney is only because of the fact that James himself is already doing an amazing job being very menacing and terrifying in the role. So hopefully we get to see that mask in the teaser. I'm assuming we will because at this point, the, the whole kitchen brawl, of course, I don't think they're going to show us that and we don't get to see Michael's face. Uh, in, in the sense, of course, we'll see him with his mask on. <laughs> so we'll get to see it sooner or later. Hopefully, again, eyes are on Nope now as far as like the highest possibility for us getting this teaser and when they'll drop it most likely the week of that movie releasing since that's the biggest blockbuster of the summer for Jordan Peele. Uh, good time to promote another Universal Horror movie coming out in October. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notification. You never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews that I'm going to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.